This is just a little bit nice, brother. Yeah. What is saying there? That it, this is an old English calligraphy. What is saying there? That thing is also uh. Old what English. is saying here? I think it is H. Hammerhead. H head. H E A D. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is calligraphy. Yeah, even the H. And your shirt is also a calligraphy. Nice. Yeah. This is an old English, same as mine. And calligraphy is uh, the Latinos are fond of uh, calligraphy. The, there is no use in no mood also. The Latinos they put on their tattoo the old English one like this. Same thing like this. Uh, if you happen to see those tattoos of the yeah, yeah, yeah. The Spanish the, no, the, 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 we are already all the hang, hang uh, work. People don't care about if you see these people making clay. Yeah. There's two or three places in America, one in Florida, one in Texas, that I they have a television show. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You said for the hand for example, it's the baby of Michael Jordan. No problem. They make a clay with the face of Michael Jordan. <laughs> they are a, that that is a Fondant tape that uh, you can mold into a nice thing, but you, uh, yeah. you have to handcraft. Yeah, it is. Because, because they have, uh, they have the, oh, the good technology. preparation, the technology, and yeah. uh, handcrafted is a. Uh, if you have that kind of uh, a specialty, you will become. Uh, they put even diamonds on the cake. A precious gem on the cake, especially yeah. those uh, high-class people. But you know, they're just people want to uh, have a cake that is a uh, nice. Know, when, when, when I'm painting, I think that's not mine. When I am painting, and I cannot go go to my painting, I just try to. Yeah. You really need something apart from good concentration on it. I've done calligraphy before on my previous uh, videos. I, I made a, a video that is, uh, I, I, I don't think that is not nice because uh, I haven't yet mastered how to do good videos. But you know, things like that. See, in, in, in the calligraphy that I learned, yeah, in the worst. Just a minute. I'm going to focus. They, yeah, they don't do the letter straight. They don't do the letter straight. Yeah, they do like the letter a little bit inclined. A little bit inclined. You know what I mean? That is cursive. It is an it italicized or yeah 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 yeah. Ital italic on it from the Italy. Thing. Oh, this okay, is yeah, like this one, see? This one is a little bit inclined. No, this is an upright. Uh, it is, this is an old English, you know, yeah. The local, the, the, this one, the L, or yeah. the I. But you know, I, I'm going to uh, tell to you the, a little secret on calligraphy. As you hold the, we are using flat petal pen because it is uh, much modernized than, other than the pen and ink. It is so messy. We need an ink and a steel brush. Now we are just using a uh, pental pen with chisel point. The secret of calligraphy, my friend, is that on how you hold the pen. Hold the pen upright, then make it firm slant on 45 degree. If, you, if you're gonna put the surface of the tip of the pen, as you can see, you Max. are forming a 45 degree. Max. Th that is the slant. Max. And always, on that position, always, 
That is the secret. Now, we're going to try the letter A. As you can see, Old English is... Uh, they need one stroke. This is an Old English. Letter A. But the, the main, the main uh, strokes you're going to use is the diamond. Just like that, if you happen to press on the tip of the pen, and you're going to make a diamond shape. A diamond shape. So that is the first step. You can try, you can try. Well, I can try because I, ha I, already, uh, I, yeah. say, I already tried before. Yeah. But calligraphy sometimes, there is a, a little bit tricky. If you if you're going to so I'm gonna do like this, not like mine. Yeah. No. But not like my style. Yeah. Now, you want to learn calligraphy in your own penmanship. No, no. I, I want to learn the real calligraphy like this one. Yeah, that's nice because uh, uh, college students, high school students, even they're gonna make a little a little. Uh, calligraphy on their on their scrapbook, on their research work, on their album, on their project, in the folder. It is so nice if you gonna learn how to make calligraphy in that way because uh, it is useful in uh, even in a in a in a simple way of uh, saying project in English, research work, and something like that. Then a little calligraphy uh, you can utilize. It so happened that we are in a modern day age that we're going to use the computer. But what about to put this, the Y, Y side in this side? Yeah, uh, Old English calligraphy is having to have a thick and thin style. So the way you handle the pen, it will produce thick and thin. That's it. If you're going to make something like that, it creates a broad line. If you happen to make it like that, it, it creates thin line, and you you don't uh, tilt the pen. It is steady. Yeah, yeah. You make the, the hold the pen on a steady you manner. You cannot move. You cannot move it because that is the secret. Many people don't understand that. Uh, why? So you, let you, me see. Yeah. yeah, that's. You can try. Hey, you do you it can, here. You can. But here you can make it. Uh, how you say? Same size level if you are beginning. Yeah, but uh, if you happen to have a, a, a practice exercise, you're going to put uh, guidelines. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, sketching and putting guidelines is... So, uh, how, how, how is the point? Like this? You're going to press on the surface first. Yeah, yeah but you're how, going how, to try how? which is the. Oh, oh, you're going to try, right? Yeah, try. You, oh, let me yeah. you have to try yeah. first. Oh. You're going to on the flat. Oh, that is the 45 degree. So that's the 45 yeah. degree. So that's the one that I need. Yeah. That is the secret. Nothing more. If but it's uh, the other way. No, not so. Well. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to discuss uh, later on on the, the way your penmanship and it so happened to be if you use the calligraphic pen, then you, you're gonna come out a nice calligraphy. So let's see. I'm going to start here. This is your first time making calligraphy. What? No, no, I did it many times. You know, sir. But uh, you haven't yet tried on the on the pen. No, no, no. Yeah, that's why the simple secret I'm going to show is the yeah, yeah, this is the uh, angle of uh, the flat tip surface. Okay. What about here? You so you have you have it here. Okay. But now what about here? This one. Yeah. Oh, this. So one? you you are producing thick and thin lines. Yeah. The way you you handle the pen. Okay. Yeah. How, how about this one? Yeah, no. making it steady, steady. Yeah, the stroke and the handle of the pen must be in a, in a steady manner. But how come here it doesn't come? 
because si. you you are still studying or you are still uh, practicing how to maneuver the pen. That's why I don't have to move the pen. I have to move only yeah, the pen. You have, yeah, as as if you are just uh, making up a uh, good uh, hand lettering with your own, your in your own penmanship. Nah, just a little practice. Then afterwards you're going to make it uh, a smooth and a nice hand lettering. Here, here, that yeah. way. It will. Yeah, it it creates it fine line. So. You think you you're beginning to learn See, here how to thick. handle the pen. Here work thick this way. Yeah, that's it. This way it work thick. Yeah, but what about if I'm going to put this this one here? I have to move my hand. No, the way you handle the uh, normal normal pen, but keep on steady on the on the angle. Do not tell. Keep steady. Make no, it uh, smooth. But if I do like this, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just hold the pen, and the, the the tip of the pen should be on a flat surface. Then the angle is still maintain the angle of uh, inclination, so that you can produce a nice calligraphy. Yeah, but I think you have to move the, you have to know how to move the painting. Yeah. But uh, that, that is, that is uh, normal to a beginner. But afterwards, you're going to learn how to hold the pen in the right position on a steady manner. And you know what? It seems to be the pen will gonna make you uh, make it a, a nice penmanship. That's it. That's why you have to. And it affects your the the the, the thickness of the pen. It is much more bigger than the than the regular ball See, pen or pencil. Look, here it's okay. Here, yeah, it's okay. Just make it a downward what about, stroke, what upright. About this line? Yeah, make it. Just make it a smooth, something like this. No very hard. No very hard. No, it, it is smooth. Okay, okay, okay. A li just a little practice. Upright position is uh, one of the you can utilize in every lettering, perhaps in, in any letter. I think you there's a problem on you haven't yet established your uh, point of inclination. You, you're going to yeah, establish look, first. There. Yeah. There's still a problem because it, it haven't yet touched evenly. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Yeah, you're beginning to learn, but you, you have to master the upright position, yeah, that's it. on practicing you can discover the the exact way of uh, handling the pen can, can you make uh, many diamonds something like it is a dot if it is in the old English the diamond is the yeah. dot yeah. yeah but simply you're going to make a downward stroke so that it will create a, a simple diamond but that is the basic now make it downward make it downward 